Hello everyone, uh, today I will take a look uh, what's inside the project VC-S uh, vinyl washing machine and then I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, let's start the teardown. First, I will remove the record clamp, uh, which is held by one hexagon screw. And next is the base of the arm, which is held with uh, three hexagon screws. It looks like there is some kind of grease between the base and the cabinet. I'm pretty sure that it's done to create an airtight joint. Now I'm gonna flip this machine upside down. Uh, I'm using cutting board from my kitchen uh, as the base because the motor shaft is still sticking out from the top of the cabinet. So here's the technical specs uh, sticker, which is not as sticky as it should be. I'm gonna stick it back with some tape. I can see through the vent holes uh, that the cabinet is made of MDF board. Probably not the best material for the machine which operation involves water and liquids. And now I can open the bottom lid which is held with a six Phillips screws. Lid is out and I can see that it's not much stuff inside. A container for used fluid is actually a 5 liter standard canister. I can see the main motor and its starter. Uh, also little motor which spins the records, uh, two switches and the AC input. So first I will unbolt the starter which is held by a single nut. Now I'm gonna get rid of the cable ties so I can get a bit more slack on the cables. I will try to take the main motor out. Uh, the motor is fixed with uh, three long bolts and it's quite tricky to access them as they are sitting quite deep inside the cabinet and the hatch is not big enough for the easy access. I lost some of the nuts and washers while trying to unbolt them, uh, so I had to flip the machine to get them out. And that's not really pleasant discovery. Looks like this machine was not handled with enough care. Who need those warning signs on the box? Two of three fixing points are broken. Looks like the type of plastic uh, used for the motor enclosure is very fragile. Hopefully, I'll be able to fix it. All 
nuts and washers are out uh, now I'm gonna untangle uh, the cables uh, so I can separate all the parts before disconnecting the cables I will take a picture of the pinout on the motor starter so I connect them back correctly two last cables were sitting really tight so I had to use my pliers uh, to get them out I'm gonna tape these cables uh, with some gaffer tape uh, to the cabinet uh, to keep them out of the way. Now when most of the cables are disconnected I will take the small motor out. I made a mistake while trying to unbolt it uh, from the inside. First I needed to remove uh, four plastic caps uh, so I can hold the bolt from the top and it doesn't spin while I'm trying to undo it. I need to separate the motor from the used liquid container, uh, get rid of the pair of uh, cable ties. Uh, these two cable ties are holding white rubber ring in place, uh, which seals the gap between the motor and container. Now I'm gonna put the cabinet on its side and pull out uh, three long bolts uh, from the top. I need to fold the rubber ring on itself uh, so nothing is holding these two parts anymore. I will turn the canister 90 degrees up and it separates from the motor quite easily. I can see that this joint was also sealed with some silicone to ensure that there is no leaks. That's the motor. Uh, this part is not as exciting as I expected. I wanted to show more insides of the motor and how the fan looks like, but it's not really possible to take it apart without causing too much damage. Fan guard is crimped around the motor. Uh, I would think uh, that inside is a centrifugal fan and some kind of water protection uh, so the moisture does not get into the motor. Also there is no filters as in Oki Noki vinyl washing machine. 
So that's the most important part, motor and the fan. And here is the used liquid container. That's the small motor which spins uh, the records. I think it's 30 revolution per minute. And that's the record clamp which uh, sits on the small motor shaft. And that's the arm and its base. Arm is made of aluminium, which is really strong advantage. And its starter. And that's the bunch of bolts, nuts, washers and caps. So that's all the insides of the project vinyl washing machine. Now I will try to fix those three mounting holes. Uh, probably the best way uh, to do it is use some epoxy, uh, but I'm filming this video during the lockdown caused by global COVID-19 pandemic, so it's quite hard to get it now. Instead, uh, I will use my hot glue gun I know that the hot glue is quite soft, uh, so I decided to add few washers from either side to reinforce uh, these fixing holes. Uh, hopefully these washers will distribute the load a little bit and it won't break. So first I'm gonna glue back this little part which came off. And now I'm gonna glue the second one. Now I'm gonna glue uh, two washers on each hole. Hopefully uh, these washers will keep all parts in place and distribute a uh, load a little bit so nothing breaks again. Now when all three holes are fixed, uh, I will go a bit more crazy on hot glue and feel more area around them. Now when 
the hot glue cooled down, I will drill out uh, the holes which were filled with the hot glue excess. And last thing uh, left to do is cut all the glue excess uh, just to make it look prettier. Finally, I can put it all back together and demonstrate how it works. I am using uh, Project Wash It uh, Record Cleaning uh, Fluid Concentrate. For 250 ml bottle I paid around 25 uh, British pounds on Amazon. Uh, this bottle will clean about uh, 337 records. To dilute the concentrate I will use Aqua Laboratory pure steam distilled water uh, for 5 liters I paid around uh, 20 pounds on Amazon. I already mixed the washing fluid, uh, optimum ratio is 1 to 10 with a distilled or demineralized water and instructions strongly suggests not to use a tap water. To spread the liquid over the record I will use this pipette from Hobby Shop and this uh, goat hair brush uh, which comes with this machine. Now I will clean this uh, Duke Ellington's record uh, which is quite dusty and was sitting inside this uh, crappy plastic bag for many years. It's quite hard to capture all the dust and dirt on camera, but they are definitely present on this record. So now I need to place the record on the machine and secure it with the clamp, but not over tighten it, otherwise it will bend the record. I will flip the motor switch so the record starts spinning and I can start spreading the washing fluid over the record. First I'm gonna add two pipettes of fluid. And then spread it more evenly with a goat hair brush. Now when the liquid is equally spread all over the record, I will place the arm over the record and activate the pump. Now I will change direction to clockwise and repeat same actions once again. First liquid. Spread it with goat hair brush. Place the arm over the record and activate the pump. Hopefully you can see that the record became clean and shiny and it even smells fresh. Now I will repeat exactly same procedure on the other side. Now 
Now when the record dried out, I'm gonna put it into brand new record sleeve as usually some of the dust stays inside the old sleeve. So this is it. Uh, now you know uh, what is inside the project vinyl washing machine and you know how it works. Really hope that this video was useful for someone. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.